Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today we're doing a first impression on Fantasy Cosmetica. Now, if you don't know, Fantasy Cosmetica are a fairly new indie brand based in the US, and their whole brand, as you can gather from their name, is based around fantasy and all of that good stuff, which speaks to my heart so, 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 so much. Anything relating to fantasy is my shit, like, especially video games. Like, my favorite game of all time is Skyrim. I've been playing that game since 2011, since I was baby, and I spent so many hours on World of Warcraft, man. I would get in trouble because all I would do for like eight hours a day was play WoW. Anyways, we're going to be doing some swatches and a couple looks with these palettes. I did ask on my Instagram if you wanted me to combine both of the palettes in one video or do separate videos on them, and the majority said combine them into one video, so let me know if you want separate videos on each individual palette with like separate looks and all that, but first impression, we're using both. These palettes were sent to me in PR, and actually I remember when um, the owner reached out to me and said they wanted to send the Sorcerer palette over, I was like, hell yes, I've been wanting to try your brand for ages, and I was initially going to buy the Druid palette uh, when it came out, but I was moving house, things just didn't end up going to plan, and I was really upset, I was like, okay, maybe I'll place an order, but when I received the package, Jordan sent over the Druid palette as well, which I totally wasn't expecting, so uh, thank you so much, Jordan, for sending these my way. Like, honestly, like, I'm so happy. And also, even though these were sent as PR, they're not paying me to make this video. I'm doing this completely on my own will and all thoughts on my own and all that good stuff. But I'm just really excited. I want to share these palettes with you. And I haven't actually used these palettes. I've only used one shade from the Sorcerer palette, and that's it. So uh, let's just get right on into it. So let's start off with the Druid palette right here. This is what it looks like. As you can see, got a lovely little Druid on the front. I will say my one critique of this packaging is I think it's a little bit too dark. Like I feel like it could just turn up the brightness a little bit because it's a little bit hard to hard to read, but that's very that's me being very nitpicky and very like, you know, specific. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside. We've got some beautiful grungy greens. I, oh, these tones make my heart sing. I absolutely love them. And we got a couple duochromes in here as well. You can just see the shifts in the pan. And I really think the color stories that they have chosen really do fit the theme. Cause I mean, like I was, if you were, cu if you ever curious about what I played as in World of Warcraft, my main classes were Druid and Mage and Rogue. So the fact that these are, this is a Druid and this is basically a Mage, it's nice. So the first shade we have right here is Root, and it is a lovely neutral brown. It almost matches my nail polish, actually. It's more of like an auburn type brown. It's got like a red undertone to it, and that's what it looks like on the finger. And that is Root swatched out. That is really pigmented. Let me actually fix that swatch, because that is probably one of the dodgiest swatches I've ever done. And these mattes feel very, very smooth, quite pigmented and quite powdery. So that is Root, really roughly swatched out on my hand. This next shade right here is called Balance and it is a duochrome. It is like a cool toned green that shifts with like a like reddish base to it. And the shimmers in here, they feel almost like... putty is not the right word, because they're not like super shock shadows, but they feel a little bit like emollient, like a little bit wet. Hopefully that makes sense, but that is Balance on the finger right there. Apologies for my finger being slightly stained from that first shade, but this is really sparkly and pretty. So this is balance swatched out. You can see the shift of like the reddish base there. I will build up that swatch. This shade is really sparkly and it's one of those like sheer sparkly shades where like it doesn't have much of a base color to it, but oh my goodness, that is Super pretty. Final shade in the first row is Forest right here, which is a deep evergreen color. This one feels a lot firmer compared to Root, like a little less like powdery, but that is what Forest looks like on the finger. And this is Forest swatched out. I don't think this is like a great way to describe it, but like it almost feels like a baked gelée sort of shade. Like it feels, the formula is a lot more different than Root. 
but that is really deep, really saturated. And like the true professional that I am, I am using toilet paper to wipe away the swatches. Okay, the next shade right here is Bare Form, and this is a lovely bronze. This formula feels different to balance. It is definitely like more of like a traditional shimmer. It's not super sparkly. You can kind of see the texture on my finger right there. And this is Bare Form swatched out. I apologize that the focus is a bit dodge, but it is a very saturated shade, very like bold, but there's not that much shimmer to it. It just feels like a classic foiled shade. It's quite thick. Okay, we're moving on to potentially my favorite shade in this palette. This shade right here is called Serenity and it is a beautiful lime green. This shade feels very similar to Bare Form, except it's got like, it's even more foiled. You can just see like the shine on my finger right there. Like it's a lot more dimensional. And this is Serenity. Look at that. Whoa. I picked up far too much on my finger so it looks quite like chunky, but that's my bad. That is so saturated and bright. It just has a bit more shine to it than Bare Form. The final shade in this row is this one right here, and this shade is called Sage, and it is a nice little khaki green. The name reminds me of Sage from Valorant, which is a game I have been playing non-stop lately. And this is Sage swatched out. Very saturated and smooth. So that is the middle row swatched out. Okay, the final row, this shade right here is Transformation. And this reminds me a lot of a shadow that I have from Glam Shop. I believe it's called Zigzag, or also I believe Davina has an equivalent called Asteria, I think. It's basically got a reddish burgundy base and it shifts to a like a bright uh, forest green. It's basically a grungier version of Balance with more of a base color to it. So that is transformation on the finger. You can kind of see the shift slightly. And this is transformation swatched out. That shift is bright. That is magical. I like having it in this palette. I think it really complements everything nicely. Rightio, the penultimate shade. This right here is regrowth. And this shade, I'm not too sure how to describe it. It's kind of like a auburn shimmery shade but it's got a little bit of green to it and a bit of gold. It's very unique. I don't think I have a shadow quite like this. And this shadow feels quite firm when swatching it, quite dense. Like not super creamy swatching it, but that is regrowth on the finger right there. This is regrowth swatched out. There's honestly not much shift to it, as you can see, and it just looks a bit like a satin shade. I feel like if this was more sparkly and more like punchy, I would like it a lot more, but it just kind of, it's got sparkle to it, but it's a little bit dull. And the final shade in this palette is Old Growth, and this is kind of like a more purpley toned version of this shade right here. It looks a little bit deeper as well. Ooh, that is nice and deep. And this is Old Growth swatched out. Wow. The saturation, boy. That can bring some nice delicious depth to this palette. I like the uh, choice of mattes in here. I think Old Growth and Root are a little bit similar, but I'll have to play around with them a bit. All right, so this is the Sorcerer palette. Very different to the Druid palette. A lot more bright, has all of the pink and blue tones in it. And I am really excited to swatch this one out. Rightio, jumping around into it, the first shade right here is Firestorm. And it is a bright magenta with a gold and purpley shift. You can see the gold shift right there. Just by looking at this palette, it seems a lot more shifty than the first one. So that is Firestorm on the finger. And this is Firestorm swatched out. That is slippery. You can just kind of see the way that my finger glided on that. And oh my gosh, that shift. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. That would be a beautiful shade to do like a one shadow look. The amount of dimension that has, wow. The next shade we have right here is Innate and it is a bright bubblegum pink matte. These kind of shades sing to my soul deeply and wow. Ooh, that is basically neon. It looks super white like on camera, but like that is very, very neon. Hopefully it doesn't mess with my lighting too much, but that is innate swatched out. That is a wonderful matte, super smooth, kind of powdery as well. The next shade we have right here is Wild Magic, which is a lovely periwinkle blue. That is very bright 
very bright. These these mats in here are super super like vibrant. What? Huh? I mean, granted, I had a lot on my finger, but that is bright. I'd be curious to see if this blends out into like a grey, because a lot of these kind of blues tend to do that. But that is looking really promising. That looks like almost like pastel, like, you know, like chalk pastels that you use in art class. My toxic trait is wiping off swatches off on my white socks. Radio, the next shade right here is Unleashed. And this is a raspberry matte. That is so bright. I feel like I'm repeating myself with all of these mattes, but that is... Okay, let me even out that swatch. That was smooth. I feel like I'm really gonna like the mattes from this brand. That is really nice. The next shade in here is Arcane, and this is probably my favorite shade in the palette. It's one of those like beautiful, super like silvery, blue, purple, pink, sparkly shades, like definitely like a topper shade. Probably great on the inner corners too. This is the one shade that I have actually worn and I did like a one shadow look and oh, just look at that. It reminds me a bit of a glam shop shadow I have called Moon Dust, and I love this. I love it. I can already, t I can already tell you like this is just, I mean, do I really need to say anything? Do I need to say anything? Look at that purpley pink shift. This next shade right here is Polymorph, which is kind of like a sea foamy green with a bit of a pink shift to it. And this like squishy formula, you pick up a lot on your finger when you swatch. Like, I think I picked up too much, but that is Polymorph on the finger. It's got also like a light green base. So this is Polymorph. Goodness me, I picked up way too much on my finger. I think they really improved the shimmer formula in this palette because they included like all the squishy sort of shimmers and I really, I really like that. Oh, look at that shift. Damn, son. This next shade is called Chaos and this is a deep plum that has like a green shift to it. Not gonna lie, this shade, just by looking at it, is probably not gonna be my favorite. It's not my favorite type of tone, um, but it is like, it's objectively quite nice. It's like a deep plum, like I mentioned. But this one doesn't seem to have as much shimmer to it as the other shades in this palette. So you can see right there, it's just a little bit dull. It's not my kind of vibe. Okay, this next shade is Empower and this is a deep plum matte. That's Empower on the finger. And then this is Empower swatched. Okay, my swatches are getting really, really shit now, sorry. But again, super smooth, really saturated. And the final shade we have to swatch is Illusion, and this reminds me a lot of a Cleona shadow, I think either Anil or Oculus, because it is a multi-chrome that has, it shifts from purple to green to blue. It is very pretty. I'm very impressed they included like a jeweled multi-chrome in this palette. I don't think it has a black base to it, but on the finger that is super gorgeous. Look at that. And that is Illusion. Super bloody smooth. But yeah, it doesn't have like a black base. So I think this is a little bit more like, a little bit easier to wear. Cause I find that black base multi-chromes aren't my favorite cause I find them quite difficult to wear. Okay, so I spent so, so long swatching these palettes. Let's finally get on into the look. So I'm thinking of doing a two-toned eye. So one palette on one eye and the other on the other. So uh, let's start off with the Druid palette because I think this one is, you know, it was the first palette to release. So let's start with this one. I apologize that my lighting might be changing a bit, um, but we're gonna be priming my eyes with the Milani Eye Primer. I'm gonna be using this on both eyes, but I'm just gonna be priming this eye for now. Just because I like to leave my eye primer tacky and I don't like to let it dry down fully. So that's what we are gonna do. So I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Sage. And yeah, this will be my first time properly actually playing with this palette. So we're going to just plop that in the crease. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This is the number 16 from NYX. That builds up really nicely and it does kind of darken the more you layer it, which with grungy shades, I don't really mind that. I mind it when it's like a brighter shade, but when it's something grungy, 
usually that's the kind of vibe I'm going for, so I don't really mind it. And I'm going to take that a little bit further out like that. Okay, now I'm going to deepen things up a little bit and I'm going to be taking the shade Forest and we're going to be kind of using this pointier brush to really get in there. I'm going to pack it on and then kind of blend it. That's really nice. It's not like muddying up and it's layering really nicely. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush I used just to kind of meld it together a little bit. I always like to go back and forth between shades just to make sure that everything is nicely melded together. I think that is rather nice, rather nice and deep and smoky. So, I think for my lid shade, I'm going to be taking Serenity, that middle shade right here, and layering a bit of balance on top of it. With every shimmer that I use, I always use the Firene Pixie Epoxy. It's basically like the NYX Glitter Glue, but a little bit thinner, and I find it works with a lot more formulas. So it's only fair that I use it in first impressions as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, and I'm just going to pat it on slightly. And the way I like to use this, and it's the same with the NYX Glitter Glue, I like to just pat it on and then use another finger to kind of like smooth it out. I don't like to apply too, too much. Right, now I'm going to dip into Serenity right here and I'm actually just going to take my finger with a little bit of that product on and then just tap it on top. Oh, that is fucking gorgeous. It also reminds me of a shade from the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I think it's called Lime. I'm just going to take a bit of forest and kind of blend it a bit here, make sure there's no harsh edges. Okay, I'm going to do my lower lash line now, and I think I want to use a couple of the brown shades just to kind of like add a bit of differentiation. So I'm going to go in with Root right here. So this brush is probably a bit too big, but we're rolling with it. God damn. Oh, damn, that's pigmented. God, this matte shade is super smooth. I barely had to work with it at all. And just to deepen things up a little bit more, I'm going to take the shade Old Growth right here. And we're just going to take that on the other end of this double-ended brush. And I'm just going to pat that on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Just to... God, that's pigmented. Oh, these mattes are wonderful. Yeah, because I was curious if these two shades were a little bit too close to one another. And I think, in all honesty, they are a little bit too close. But old growth can really add a bit of depth, actually. I'm just going to use the shade Balance on my inner corners. And just see... Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Ugh. Oh. These kind of shades are, like, my everything. Ugh, I love that so much. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm pretty happy with this look. I think it's super pretty. Once, obviously, I do, like, mascara and waterline, it will look a lot more complete. But let's move on to the other eye. And we're gonna do the same kind of shape, just so, like, it kind of matches. And I am thinking of doing the blue on the lower lash line and the pink on top, because I think that will kind of look the most cohesive. So again, I'm just priming my eyelids with Milani Eye Primer. Radio. so we're gonna go into this shade right here called Innate, and we're gonna blend that into the crease. The shade I'm really excited to use. We'll see, oh damn. Hell yeah. Again, no patchiness, no difficulty. Blending. Radio, to deepen things up, we are using this raspberry shade, which is called Unleashed. I might deepen it up a little bit further with Empower, depending, but we'll use a bit of Unleashed. This shade is still quite bright, so maybe it won't give me the depth that I want. But I think actually, 
I think it is. I might actually mix a teeny tiny bit of Empower, just a smidgen, just to kind of make this match the depth of the other eye. Like I'm literally going into this like very lightly because I don't want it to like overtake the look. I just kind of want to mix the two colors together. I do like this Empower shade. I do want to keep like putting it on just to kind of like, I know I said I didn't want it to overtake the look, but too late. I am. It's just such a nice purple and it's not, it's not getting patchy. It's not like layering dodgily, which purples sometimes tend to do. So I'm quite, I'm quite impressed. Video, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be layering a little bit of Ferronet Pixie Epoxy, just taking a teeny bit on my finger and just patting that on my lid. I really want to go into polymorph, not gonna lie, but I think that'll make the eye looks look a bit too, too different because this eye I did like on the top lid, I used all greens. And I feel like if I used like pink and green, it would look a little bit dodge. I don't know, but I'm gonna go into Firestorm. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this looks because it has that gold sheen in it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you can really see the gold shift on the lid. Oh, that shade is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the gold shift like from this angle, but oh, damn, that is nice. That is nice. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna be using Wild Magic. Now I'm a little bit nervous because I have been burned by shades like this before. Burned in the sense of like, they've just not looked nice. So I am hoping that this turns out well. Because if it doesn't, the vibes are completely ruined. So, no pressure, no pressure. So let's uh, get started. Okay, I'm just gonna take this brush that is like slightly stained blue and with a tiny bit of wild magic, blend out the edges. Okay, it blends out nicely, but I will say it does deepen on the under eyes. It does kind of do that thing that I was worried about. So, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, I was a, a little, it's a little bit, I don't know how I feel about it actually. So I am just going to put a little bit of that Empower shade um, on the outer portion of that just very lightly, just so it kind of connects a bit better. So there's no like weird, like harsh meeting point. And maybe like mixing the purple with the blue will kind of like create its own like bluey purple, like an indigo color. Oh, that purple mixes with the blue really nicely actually. I'm being very gentle blending them together. Okay, I think that looks actually, now that I'm seeing it all together, I think it's actually looking a bit better. I was just getting a little bit scared. So we are now going to take the shade Arcane, which bloody hell, I love this shade. We're gonna put that on my inner corners. Do basically the same thing we did with Balance. Oh. She is beauty, she is grace. She has a garden in her face from that hit poem from like the 1800s. That is a very, very obscure reference. Throwback to A-level English. That poem is about sex. Very funny. People were a lot more creative when it came to like wooing people back then. And nowadays it's just like, damn your ass fat, what are your pronouns? Anyways, um, that was a very obscure rant that I went on, but these are the looks right here. Um, okay, I really like, I really like both of them actually. I think they complement each other really nicely. I think that it looks pretty cool. Like it's different. It's obviously like two different palettes, but I think once I finish everything up, it's gonna tie together. So real quick, I'm just gonna go off camera, do my eye pencils, 
eyelashes and lips and we'll be back to wrap up some thoughts. Okay so I am back, I have finished up my face so I'll real quick just run through the products that I used in case you're curious. For mascara I used the NYX Worth the Hype mascara, for my eyes, for my waterlines, uh, for this eye I used the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Groundbreaker, and for this waterline I used the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in Make and Waves. Um, these were both sent in PR and I actually think these shades complement the eye looks really nicely. And for my lips I am using the, this is new to me actually, the Colourpop Lippy Sticks uh, blur lipstick in Unreal. I love, 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 love this shade. So this is just a closer look of the eye looks. On this eye we have the Druid palette. I love this eye look so much. And then we have the Sorcerer palette. Two very different vibes. So anyways, glasses back on. Let's talk about my thoughts and the prices of these. So these palettes retail for $38.99 US dollars, which is roughly about £32 each. They both have a mirror inside of them and I don't believe the pans inside are magnetic and they are cardboard. Now I can't say if they are worth the price just yet since this is a first impression, but I so far really enjoyed these palettes. The mattes were really easy to work with, really buttery and smooth, and they layered on top of each other really nicely. And they were super pigmented, beautiful to work with. The shimmers, I believe that the shimmers in the Sorcerer palette, from the ones that I have tried and the ones that I've like, you know, just based on swatching, I believe they really perfected the shimmer formula in the Sorcerer palette. I mean, they included more of that squishy formula, like these three shades are that kind of like almost wet formula, very slippery. And I really like that. Illusion here too is also like, it's not quite wet, but it is very creamy and like smooth and really foiled on the eyes, on the eyes, in the swatch. I think the shimmer choice in this one, I think it was really smart of them to include more of those slippy shades because I think that's like where they stand out. And in this palette, the Druid one, granted it was their first palette, I will say I am... I'm a bit iffy on these two shades right here, like, I mean, they are good shade choices, but the formula, I just wish they were more, like, impactful. However, I really enjoyed using these palettes, they were really fun, and I will say, the one shade that, I'm, that I've am that i used today that I'm a bit like, eh, that you kind of saw me with was Wild Magic. I mean, I will play around with it a little bit more, and I think it does look nice. Obviously, it does darken on the eyes as you use it. Um, just based on this first impression, I will play around with it more and give you like a proper review. Um, I'll be curious to see if it wears off patchy and if, you know, I could kind of work with it a little bit more. But overall, except for Wild Magic, the mattes were really lovely to work with, layered really nicely. This shade in Power I'm really impressed with because it wasn't patchy at all, layered really nicely, mixed with Wild Magic really nicely to create a lovely like deep like like periwinkle indigo color. So overall, so far, I'm actually really impressed with this brand. I really like how they're like small, compact. I love the theming of them. I mean, like it just speaks to my soul immensely. Would I have purchased these palettes if I weren't sent them in PR? Now, I know for a fact that I was going to purchase the Druid palette. Like I was already planning on buying it anyways. So that's kind of a yes to me. The Sorcerer palette, I would have to like watch more reviews of it and see because I know I do have colors similar to this, but now that I've tried it, like I I really like it. I can see myself using these palettes quite a lot. I guess that's about it when it comes to uh, these palettes so far. I will say you can buy them in a bundle as well and you save a little bit of money, I believe. Um, and also I don't know what their shipping is like, like shipping from the US. I'm not too sure how expensive it is and all that stuff. I can't comment on that, so I'm sorry about that. But if you have experience ordering from them, do like comment down below so like, you know, help other people out with that sort of thing. But yeah, I think with all of that said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know, have you tried Fantasy Cosmetica? 
And if you'd like to see individual videos on these palettes, like, I think I might do like a two looks plus review video with each of these and my voice is disappearing. Stop that. <laughs> if you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. If you'd like to support me further, I do have my own small business, Rain Cloud Candles Co. We are a small queer owned business based in the UK and we make handmade candles. The link to shop will be down below along with our social media if you'd like to support us. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.